Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with Liz. Hi. So, Liz is back again. I really appreciate her support on the channel and you guys want to see more Liz anyway. So, I know you don't, you get tired of me just talking about fragrance. You want to hear it from a lady's perspective. So this is pretty cool and I really do appreciate it. Two releases that came out this year, 2021. Um, these fragrances aren't really available yet. I think one is available at Sephora, the other one isn't, but I'll leave the link down below to buy either one. So Liz is gonna smell both of them as a fragrance battle. I review both these fragrances. I'll leave a card up here or down below and she's gonna rate them from one to 10, see which one she likes more than the other and which one she would like to smell on a guy. I spray each one and I'm gonna go over a note breakdown of each one and how much they cost. First one we're talking about is Jean-Paul Gaultier and this is Scandal. So I'm gonna spray it on a test strip and then I'll go over notes why she smells it. This one here has notes of Clary Sage, uh, mandarin orange, we have caramel, tonka, and we have vetiver. This is Scandal. This one goes for about 90 bucks. Um, I'll leave a link down below to eBay sellers selling these for 90 bucks. If you want to buy a 50 ml bottle, they come in 100 ml and 150 ml. So. It's nice. I okay. Like it. I like it. Yeah, it's you not think? like my favorite, but it's, okay. it's a good one. You um, think it's um overly sweet or too sweet or like um, kind of nice in the middle? Know, I think it's, it's it definitely, the sweetness hit me, um, okay. but I think it's mellowing out. All right. So to a level that I that I like. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. All right, sounds good. Okay. So, so I'm, uh, was there was there citrus in here? Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, mandarin orange. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, citrus yeah. opening. Okay. So you get a little that. freshness mm -hmm. in. Okay. I like that. All right, sounds good. Spray the other one, and then let her give her a few seconds to see which one she likes, and then we'll see what bottle she likes before she picks a fragrance that she likes. So Pac Rubin. This is no other than Phantom. So I like the cool little quirky bottle with the robot, and it sprays through the eyes, which is pretty weird. Pretty cool. All right, so I'll let her smell that one. This one here has notes of uh, oh, lemon, uh, 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 lavender. We have the lemon zest and we have other lemons. We have apple, earthy notes, patchouli, vetiver, um, vanilla, and smoke. I don't think I like it as much nah. as the other one. Okay. Yeah. You think it's too, maybe too strong? Yeah. Okay. Like, um, it smells a little... Yeah, like a little chemically okay. for me. I know I was talking, when I did my review, yeah. I felt like it was more of like a young uh, teenager kind of fragrance. Oh, okay. Kind okay. of somebody maybe between 18, 19, 20 that just wants to smell sweet but not taking life too serious. Uh, yeah, it's like it's I one of those kind that. of fragrances. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean it, it does smell good. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just kind of heavy, kind of youthful, I said in my, my review. But pick up for about a small bottle, 50 mil, 75, and this mil is 100 mil, is 100 dollars. So it's in the 50, it's in the 75 to 100 dollars for a bottle. So they're in that same price range. Before she picks what fragrance she actually likes, I'm gonna let her pick what bottle she thinks looks better. So I'm gonna okay. show her bottle one is. I'm gonna let her hold it. It's a scandal. All right. And see if you like that one first. <laughs> it's kind of weird, the little crown. So it's supposed to be marketed as a boxer because it has the red little glove inside as a boxing, and it has like a king as a, a king that won a championship. It's supposed oh, to give okay. that kind of story behind it, kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Seems all a little right. all over the place. But yeah. Got it. <laughs> this one here is the, they're basically trying to go in the future with the whole computers uh, and <laughs> bots and everything. So this is supposed to be robots. So okay. I see how you feel about that one. Yeah. Um, aesthetically, I think this one is. I like this one more. Okay. But I think I like the idea of this one more. Okay. So, but I think I think if I if push came to shove, I would rather have this one around. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Myself. If she saw a guy walking by and want to give him a comment, what fragrance would she like to smell on a guy? Pretty simple. We'll give her a few seconds because mm. they're both new fragrances. So. Okay. I think actually I'm surprised. I'm gonna go with. Oh, you going with the ro yeah, oh robot? I, oh shoot. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, when I, can, when I have them side by side and I can compare them, okay. I do actually prefer that one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, sounds good. That's awesome, okay. I'm gonna ask her one more time to rate both of them from one to 10 and we'll wrap this thing up. So I'll okay. let you smell them both and we'll go over Scandal first. All right. So how do you uh, feel about one to 10 with this one? Um, I'm gonna put, give that one like a five. A five out of 10? Okay, 10. cool. Yeah. Sounds good, all right. And then this one I would give them like a six. They're a six? Of course, this one okay, so she gave it six out of ten. Okay, cool. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, both these fragrances are nice. I think Liz said that they both smell good, but she preferred one over the other, and that happens with fragrances. And, um, you know, it's nice to get a woman's uh, opinion on fragrances instead of me just talking about fragrance after fragrance. I'd like to thank you guys for watching that video. I'd like to thank Liz for being another video. Sure. Um, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you click that like button, and make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. You guys take care. We'll see you next one. Bye. Bye.